Hey guys, today I'm going to take you through one full day as a structural engineer at home. For my alarm, I set Pi's auto feeder to give her half of her breakfast at 6 a.m. She comes to wake me up for the second half. Then I make my own breakfast. Breakfast is usually coffee for my brain, oatmeal for my tummy, and syrup for my soul. After food, I'll get dressed. While Pi procrastinates doing, well, anything. Then more coffee and we're ready to commute. My home office is a good space, which lets me get right down to work. Most of my job is building design, which in a perfect world is a linear process with three basic steps. I have to understand the structural concept, determine how the building is loaded, and design structure to withstand those loads and be functional. Step one is understanding the building. The key to this is interpreting architectural drawings. Next, I look for a framing concept to support the building as the architect envisions it. Sometimes there are conflicts and I can't give the architect what they want. And sometimes the architects don't give me what I want. After making a framing concept, it's time to dig deeper into how the structure is loaded. Arc drawings show me what the spaces in the building are going to be used for. And that tells me how much load I need to allow for in each area. I also use climatic data from the building code. This helps me determine possible external loads, like snowfall, earthquakes, or wind. In my market, it's usually snow that causes the most trouble. Once I have a framing system and how it's loaded, I can do design calculations to size structural members. Note that I'm using pen because architects never change their floor plans and I never make mistakes. To select member sizes, I use construction handbooks. And of course, I'd be lost without software. Here, I'm using SAP 2000 to fix a missing support so the structure behaves properly. Anyway, that's how a nice linear design process goes. But most days don't go that smoothly. So we're gonna leave this mess for after lunch. Working out over the lunch hour helps me to be ready to rock for the afternoon's chaos. After the workout, my meowager and I relax and grab some lunch. Then we get back to it, because today we have a meeting. I usually have at least one or two Zoom meetings a week, which means I need to put on real clothes. I love meetings. Collaboration is the best. After the meeting, more typical chaos resumes. See, things tend to come up during projects. Sometimes I like to tease architects, 
but they are important. Without them, I would make all my buildings boxes. Easy, but boring. Issues on construction sites can also come up. And if a contractor is calling, it usually isn't good. In fact, contractors can ruin my whole day. But to be honest, sometimes I ruin theirs too. Anyway, with fires to put out, phone calls, and emails, sometimes project design goes a little slower than I'd like. At least there's coffee, right? And sometimes I even get to leave the house and my phone. I love seeing my projects come to life on site. Unless they're going badly or it's cold. Then I send Chris. He does my reviews so I can stay warm. I mean, so I can spend more time doing design. To finish the day, I take some professional development time, aka nerdy free time, for reading papers, watching tech talks, or playing with software. At 5, we log out, and Pi reminds me I better feed her before I feed myself. Then we watch some TV before an early bedtime so we can do it all over again the next day.